So you might be in a situation where it looks like your iPhone applications are updating, but they're continuing to just download and then just basically go back into the update panel. So for an example, let's say we go and make our way over to some sort of iPhone app. Well, if you go and look closely, there are some iPhone apps that you already have. So if we go and tap on Roblox into our app store, you might see this little update button. But sometimes these update buttons just randomly will not go away, even if you click on update. Now this may work for us, but if it's but if you're going through this every single time, the main reason why this may end up happening is because for one, your specific application is just no longer having that update available and is trying to reach those servers, but maybe the update was pulled by the actual developers. That is the first thing to keep in mind, and that may actually end up happening for a vast majority of people. On top of that, another big thing that can actually happen is that for some reason, your Wi-Fi or internet was actually cut off in the middle of that particular update. So if you make your way over to your settings application and you find your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or cellular options right here, you may just want to double check your internet connection. You may just want to make sure that you're connected to a proper internet connection that is working because if it's no longer working, that can probably be the problem that you're running into for a vast majority of people. So just go through, update your you know, Wi-Fi or cell connection, and that might end up fixing it for you. On top of that, you may just want to go and see if there's an update available for your iPhone. So if your iPhone is fairly up to date, then this probably shouldn't be a problem. But if it's very, very outdated, you may have some random issues with your app store and you may just want to go and update it. So make your way back into your settings application, go back into general, tap in software update. And once again, all you're going to want to do is update your iPhone. You, you can try updating to iOS 17 right now or the current gen, but if not, you can even update on your current software, even if there's security responses updates, and you may just want to go and see if that ends up fixing the problem too. Now, if none of that stuff is working, finally, what you may want to try doing is basically going to a website like downdetector.com. One of these types of websites may end up working for you, and if you make your way here, what you can try doing is you can try seeing if for some reason Apple services or their app store or something like that is down. If one of those services are down, and then pretty much all you're going to have to do is just wait it out until Apple fixes the problem. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.